Hey guys, Terry here. I have my Christmas cards made and I thought that I would do a quick video to show how I made it. Um, I've made it on um, the card base is Nina Solar White, 110 pound weight, so it's a nice sturdy card. And then I've used a background color. Um, I picked a bold color because my image on here is white, so I wanted it to stand out on the colorful background. And then I've stamped it, and I don't know if you can tell, but this is embossed, just to make the stamp image a little bit bolder. And I've used my Copics to color in the moose and the Christmas lights. So let me show you how we did it. Okay, so here's the products we're going to use. I've got Nina Solar White, 8.5 by 11, 110 pound cardstock, and I've cut that in half my card bases and I scored it right in the middle so that's the card bases I have taken some jelly bean Christmas paper and it is cut into four by sixes and this is a good size for fronts of cards we're gonna trim it a little bit but if you cut your 12 by 12 piece of paper into um, four by sixes you get six of them in one sheet of Christmas card paper. And you could use either side. I'm going to use this one. And then I've just got some scraps of black, and this is cut into four and a quarter by two and a half, and that's what we're going to mat our stamped image on. And let's get started. Oh, this I'll just mention the stamp set. Um, I think I got this at Mega Meat last year. It's called Holiday Trends, and it's the ugly sweater stamp set and I'm using the little Merry Christmas so let's stamp that on our paper here I've just got a scrap of white paper that's four inches wide and then I'm gonna trim it I'm gonna stamp it twice using my misty so I'm gonna stamp once here and then turn my paper around it's just a quick way to make two at a time so I'm using the VersaFine black ink and then we're also going to um, emboss it. I like using the Misty because if I miss any spots here, I can re-ink it and just get it a little bit more touched up. Notice I missed the lights over here on his side antlers. <laughs> so there's that. I've got the ink and while the ink is still wet, I'm gonna emboss it. You don't have to do this part, but I think the embossing makes it um, just stand out a little bit more. So this is just clear embossing powder. Putting it on the card. Tapping off the excess. And then I'm going to use my heat tool to mouse it. It does a couple of things. It makes it shinier. It also makes it so that when you um, color with the Copics, it's not going to make the black ink bleed. So that's handy. Um, I can also flip this around and make a second one. Okay, made the second one. Set aside my Misty. So now I'm going to cut this in half. And I want to make it so it fits onto my little black piece here. So let me go cut that. Okay, got those cut. Um, I just also want to mention that I use a stamp chamois to wipe off the ink from the stamp when using the Misty. Comes in handy. Okay, so let's assemble our card. So now we've got our pieces. this on here. 
got that. We've got our card base. Okay. I just want to point out that we cut these background pieces four by six. So I just need to cut off about um, three quarters of, three quarters of an inch to an inch to make it fit on the card front. Okay, so let me do that. When you cut that piece off, it makes for a nice little um, decorative piece too. You can either add it to it or you could, um, if we'd done this in a solid color, you could stamp your sentiment on there. But this makes it a good size. Good size for the background on the card. Okay. And glue this down. Uh, I'm gluing it down. We could have waited till we colored it to glue it down. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Okay. And now we can take our Copics and color the moose and the Christmas lights. So I'm going to do his ears in dark brown. Antlers, not ears. I'm not getting fancy with my Copic coloring. There's a lot more shading and stuff you could do with Copics. I just want to give you the idea. So on this one I used this um, stamp set. You could see where you could have used any Christmas set with a scene or some saying on it or combined a couple stamps. This one happened to have the the critter and the words together with it, but you could have used a stamp set with two, um, two different stamps and made a little scene. So I'm using just blue and green and red. Like I said, I'm not doing anything fancy with these. I'm just putting some color on them. Red, green, and blue. Okay. So there's our card. Okay, so I'll just remind you we used uh, the Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. Um, I keep a box of these available so that I'm ready to make cards. So I just have, I use white all the time. Um, you can have them open this way or this way. So cutting them that way is very versatile. And then I just like to use a piece of colored printed um, cardstock for the back. And then have your stamp set, and then I matted it on another color just so it stands out. So I think it's a quick and easy Christmas card. You can see, imagine having an assembly line of those, having all your cards made. So thanks, guys.